Hi everyone. Today I will be showing you how you can embed a file from your Google Drive, such as a Google Slides presentation or a Google Doc, into one of your Schoology assignments. And then I'll show you how you can view your work, what you've created as a teacher, from the student's perspective. So here I am in my courses and I have uh, a slideshow that I would just like the students to see. The good thing about um, embedding a file this way is that as I make changes to this Google slideshow, those changes will automatically transfer over. I won't have to go back into the assignment and make the changes. So I, I kind of like this feature um, inside Schoology. So here I am in my course. I am going to click on Add Assignment. We'll add materials and then Add Assignment and give it a name. And this is the button that's going to become your friend. It, when you hover your mouse over it, it tells you that it's uh, called insert content. It's a little square with an arrow diagonally pointing into the square. And when you click that, uh, the drop down arrow next to that, one of your options is to find something in your Google Drive. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna click that icon and now I have the opportunity to either use the search box or uh, since it was a, a document that I recently was working with, it is showing up at, near the top of the list. But I, if it wasn't, I could search for it here in this search box. But here it is. I'm going to put a check mark next to it and you'll see a new button appeared called import. If you click the drop down next to it, one of the options is import embed. Now you can import it as a link. So when the students land on your Schoology course, there will be a link for them to click on and it will take them you know, to another page. You know, It'll open up a new window with that link. In this case, it's a Google Slides presentation. However, sometimes it's more convenient to have the kids not going out. They stay right inside Schoology. They don't have to go anyplace else. So because of this embed feature, we can do that for a variety of documents now. So if I click import embed, there it is. You'll see, um, you know, the it's sort of a space filler right here, but this is the Google Slides presentation. So now this is not a due date, you know, type thing. We're not grading it. This is just maybe an announcement or an introduction or something like that. I just want the kids to be able to see it. You do have to fill in the fields marked with an asterisk. So I will call this ungraded. And that is that. So I can click create. And now when you click on that assignment that you just created, you'll see the slides presentation embedded right on the course page. No new tab opens up. And if at any time while you're working, you'd like to see the assignment as the students will see it, Schoology has a really simple and convenient way to do that. All you have to do is click on the little drop down arrow next to course options right under your course tile image and select view course as. This is gonna bring out a pop out window listing all of the course members, co-teachers and students. Mine only has one, so I'm going to click on his name. And right at the top, you'll see a little note. This is how your course looks to the name of your student. And as you scroll down, you can click on any of the assignments or their corresponding attachments to see it exactly how the students will see it on their end. Again, by embedding the slides right on the page, you'll keep the students in one Schoology tab. This often simplifies things for everyone. When you're ready to go back to the teacher view, simply click on the back to course button in that gray bar at the top, and you will be back where you began. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions about Schoology, you know where to find me.